Greetings. This devotion is for the 4th of March, and our reading comes from 1 Peter chapter 2, verses 9 and 10. But you are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, God's own people, in order that you may proclaim the mighty acts of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Once you were not a people, but now you are God's people. Once you had not received mercy, but now you have received mercy. The writer is speaking to the Gentiles, and for so many generations, um, as especially by the, the hardcore Jewish people, they were rejected. They were cast aside uh, because the Jews considered themselves the favorites, the chosen, right? I, I think we've all felt like Gentiles. Right? cast aside, not good enough, that kind of thing. It, you know, maybe we were the last picked in gym class. Maybe we didn't even get to go to the prom. Maybe we've been passed over for promotion. You, you see what I'm saying? Right? We felt this way. We know it's not a good thing. Thing is, what the writer of 1 Peter says here loud and clear is, while that may have been true, it isn't now. God has chosen you. Chosen, chosen, and loved by God. Now, the writer gives us one great purpose, right? Proclaim the mighty acts of God. Right. So in response, that's what we do. And, and, and so you see this, this recurring theme happen a lot, don't we? We are chosen. We are loved. We are cared for. And our response to share that with other people. The more we read, the more we get into the text. And now this has been a year anyway the more we see that main theme. It is the sense of why this church and many have the word evangelical in them, that we indeed become an evangelical place, okay? loved and chosen. And our response in love is to share that wonderful news. Let us pray. Dear Lord, heavenly God, help us to, to accept and rejoice that you have indeed chosen us. Help us, dear God, to live our lives in full and complete joy. We can know We've been chosen by you. Heavenly God, we pray for all those who struggle with illness. And we pray for support and healing power for them, as well as support for families who, who long to support them and be by their bedside. Dear God, in this time of pandemic and COVID-19, dear God, we pray that you would speed the vaccine to a world who desperately needs it. Help all to receive this vaccine, dear God. Protect all who struggle with it, who recover from it, and the frontline people who help those who are struggling. We pray all this through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. 